Hi there, Toy here, and I think today I'm in the mood for a haul. So it's been a long time since I've shared some things that I've gotten. Um, you know, I thought about doing one for like Christmas. I see a lot of people do like their Christmas haul and stuff like that. I don't know. I just felt a bit weird about it. Plus, I'm still getting things figured out with what I'm trying to do with these channels. So anyway, since then, you know, I've picked up some pretty cool things. And I just thought today would be a good day to share them. So I'm going to start off with just like some kind of random things that I'm excited about. So I picked up these little um, like popsicle makers. Um, I guess you could fill them with, you know, ice cream. You could fill them with um, fruit juices. Um, <laughs> I actually found a recipe to make them into like little frozen wine cooler pops or whatever. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but I'm really excited about them. And they weren't very expensive, so yay. Let's see what else I have. Oh, <laughs> It has been ages and ages and ages since I've had a tea party. I know I may not seem like the tea party type to some people, but I love a good tea party. And I really love tea. I drink tea all the time. And I got, my husband bought me a new teapot that's actually made specifically for loose leaf tea. I don't buy loose leaf tea because it's usually more expensive and, you know, you have to prepare just slightly different. And anyway, but he bought me some loose leaf tea to go with my new pot so I think I may invite some of my friends over to have a tea party or maybe I'll go to one of their houses and host it there my place doesn't have a lot of space but either way I'm excited about my loose leaf tea and the possibility of having another tea party oh and oh this goes along with it I thought since I got the new teapot and the loose leaf tea I would make some edible spoons to go with them and you can make I'm going to probably make them out of um, milk chocolate, dark chocolate, and white chocolate. But I guess you can make them out of any type of candy material that can melt and be molded. So I'm excited about these to go along with my hopefully tea party soon. And oh, <laughs> so I know I say a lot of times my place is a big, but it's really not. Still, uh, we play a lot of music in our house, and so we end up having to like blast it. So we've been investing in um, wireless speakers to put around the house so that we don't have to blast that one speaker. And it's going pretty well. We have a really good wireless um, speaker right now that um, allows us to what we call our back room. But my husband picked up these really cute Polaroid speakers. They're really cute. They're not the best speakers, but that's okay. I mean, for the purpose that we need them for, they're okay. And so we're putting these these really cute little speakers, like, all over the, like, well, all over the house. There's one upstairs. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> so, because we have the other one already downstairs. But we do have two of them, so I guess we could replace the other one. But the other one sounds better. Whatever. So we got these really cute little Polaroid speakers. Um... Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to share, I'm going to go just on a very kind of micro tangent, a little bit of a rant. Um, I, I still have, you know, <laughs> I am a you know kid at heart. I'm a geek. Everyone knows that, so this isn't new. Um, one of my new favorite shows on um, Netflix is the She-Ra cartoon. Uh, I love it. It's, it's, you know, I think it's a wonderful reboot. They're doing a lot of positive things with it and people who hate on it will just hate. People were mad that she didn't wear the same outfit she wore back in the 80s where she basically walked around like a stripper. But anyway, <laughs> with that said, I love the new She-Ra and I've been trying to get my hands on She-Ra action figures. But of course, toy companies don't make action figures for girl cartoons. They just make dolls. Because apparently, girls don't buy action figures. <laughs> Whatever. So, I finally got my hand on two of the dolls. I don't have my favorite one yet, but this is what I got. So, this is Bo, one of She-Ra or Adora's, because she's both of those people, um, one of her best friends. And it's not a very good likeness of him. <laughs> but I don't care. I'm excited that I have my Bo doll, because I'm not allowed to have an action figure. And then I got She-Ra herself. Oh, this, I actually like this She-Ra. <laughs> it's, it's really cute. The one that I really wanted is her best friend, um, Glimmer. 
I really wanted a, a Glimmer doll, but I haven't found her yet. Um, I will take a Catra because she's the villain. I will totally take a Catra and a Swiftwind. Swiftwind is the horse. I love Swiftwind. But I'm very happy with the two that I have. I'm hoping that I can add more to my collection of dolls since they don't make action figures. I think you can get them in Japan, but I can't pay Japanese import prices to buy something in Japan and have it shipped to the U.S. I just don't have money like that. <laughs> so I'll be I'll be happy with my dolls since I can't get the other stuff. <clears throat> All right, whew, there's a lot going on here. So the next thing I want to show you, I actually did another um, little video clip for that you'll see in this video somewhere, wherever I put it. And it is a new jacket that my hubby bought me. That's the one thing I really, you know, me and my husband are really good about buying and doing nice things for each other throughout the year, which is why we don't really celebrate, like, Valentine's Day or go out of the way to, like, do gifts for, like, anniversaries and stuff. Like, we acknowledge them, but we just do nice stuff for each other throughout the year. Case in point, my new Captain Marvel jacket. Oh, my goodness. I love this jacket so much. I can't wait to, like, actually wear it out of the house. So, um... I have a little video of me trying it on, and it's a little bit snug, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> Maybe it'll motivate me to lose some weight. My rule of thumb is if it has, like, zippers or buttons, if I can button it up or zip it up without them, like, popping out, then it fits. And guess what? It fits. So I'm happy. I love the fact that um, it has all these cool patches on them. And you can, take, you can change out the names. It can say Captain Marvel. It can say C. Danvers. And then there's a blank one, which I'm pretty sure I'm going to be putting my name on it. I don't know if I'm going to put Toy Thomas, or if I'm going to put, like, Toy Box, since that's, like, my online name, or if I'm going to come up with something special that represents me. I haven't decided yet, but I'm definitely going to fill it out, and um, I'm very excited about my new jacket. I don't know if y'all know this, but I have this thing about jackets. Like, I do not buy jackets and coats anymore because I went through a phase where I was just buying them all the time. I had more coats and jackets than I had t-shirts which is not healthy. So I don't buy coats and jackets anymore. If I need a winter coat or something like that, I tell my husband and I just wait to see what happens. <laughs> and so the fact that he bought me a jacket, I, oh my goodness, I know this fan loves me. Okay, so let's move on. <laughs> on to the books. I mean, this is a bookish vlog. <laughs> so um, I have said this before and I'll say it again. In this day and age, I, I, I live by ebooks I do I read so many ebooks because of the price because of the convenience especially Kindle books I know some people are like woo Kindle's the devil whatever um a lot of times with the Kindle books um if they if they have the right like permissions on them I can do text to speech and listen to them in my car um sometimes I'll actually get the audiobook where I can be reading and then you know, be at home reading and then get in the car and pick up on the audiobook. Well, so many different reasons why I love consuming ebooks. So that's why I always ask for like Amazon gift cards and stuff like that. And I spend for you, those of you who are wondering, why do I want those? Amazon? I'm buying books. That's what I'm, I'm feeding my habit of buying books. With that said, I still appreciate a good physical book too. So, I mean, if you ever want to give me a physical book, I'm not going to turn it down. So here are some books that we've picked up recently. And um, I mean, not a lot. Like I said, most of my reading is done on, on, you know, digital. But so this is a book we actually I got from my husband. We picked it out together because he's not much of a reader. But one thing that he and I do together is we read graphic novels. And he's really into um, video games. He loves Zelda. I mean, I'm not into video games the way I used to be. I, I've tried to get back into it every now and then. I'll go through a phase where I'll do some gaming, but it never lasts. I always revert back to the books. So we have a Zelda manga that we'll probably read together at some point. I thought that was pretty cool, bringing our common interests together. And then <laughs> we picked up a Tank Girl number one. Um, it looks really cool. We're both very excited about it, but we're also very terrified about it because we know the Tank Girl story. It's not for everyone, <laughs> and we know that going in, so it's okay. So we've got our Tank Girl graphic novel that we will get to at some point. And then um, this one, 
was really like this one was a find one of our favorite bookstores in our local area is the AFK in Virginia Beach and this is where we found this book I'm gonna try to describe it first it's called Jim Henson's Tale of Sand this is a lost screenplay by Jim Henson and Jerry Droll um, and it's realized by someone named Ramon K. Perez I feel like that name sounds familiar is that is he an artist <laughs> This is me losing cool points right now. Anyway, it's basically um, a graphic novel rendition of, a, I guess, a lost screenplay that was found of Jim Henson. And I like the cover. I mean, it's just, I think it's really cool. So this is another one that we'll be kind of reading together at some point. That one was a really cool find. And then this one, I actually got this one a while back, but forgot that I had it. I guess... <laughs> I misplaced it so when I found it I was like wee a new book so this one is um, Renegade Women in TV and Film I think I actually got this one at a Jewish book fair and um, so I'm excited to read it um, this one it's basically like short biographies where they have pictures of the people and then their story and I love I, who is the artist of this book? Illustrations by Austin Claire Clements. Well, she's just lovely. I love all the these lovely pictures. I'm very excited to read about all these different women in television and film because it looks like it's a very diverse group of women. I mean, the fact that the whole book about women is great to begin with, and then it's a diverse group of women. So I'm excited to read that and enjoy the pictures and all that jazz. And the last book that I have... I got at a, oh, what was it? Was it a Books a Million when I went to visit my family, my in-laws for the holidays? I don't think we have Books a Millions where we live. I think we just have Barnes and Nobles. Um, no, and I'm not knocking Barnes and Nobles. I'm just, I was just trying to think. I think we used to have them in our area, but we don't. Anyway, so it's one of those like um, collector books that they make. Um, anyway, it's African Myths and Tells. And I actually downloaded an ebook of African Myths and Tales as well. And so it'll be nice to do like a comparison. And um, I've been very much like kind of getting into looking into more different cultures than just the Western um, way of like, and I'm, I'm not trying to be like, I don't know how to describe it really, but like, I want to know more. I definitely want to know more about African cultures. Um, I've been specifically interested in like Caribbean cultures, Asian and Hispanic cultures. I feel like finding out about European cultures is way too easy. I know a lot about them just because, I mean, I'm not against them. I'm just, at this point, I want to learn something new, something that I wish I had been um, taught my entire life. Like I wish all these other cultures and things were just part of what I was taught, but they, I wasn't because that's not the way the Western world works. But that's okay because I'm going to enrich myself and I'm looking forward to it. So that's my haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope I didn't ramble too much and I should have um, some more things coming down the pipe soon. This has been a slow reading month, but I have been reading so that'll be coming and that's all I have for now. Bye-bye!